Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, uh, y'all seen me out here working a little earlier there. I was getting started on my siding. I just thought I'd bring, bring you along there and just show you uh, some clips there of me doing some work there. What I'm using there on my siding is uh, Southern Yellow Pine 1 by 12s It's rough cut sawmill lumber that I've had probably two years, three years maybe. And it's completely dried out. And uh, just, uh, it'll work real good for this uh, blacksmith shop. And uh, so uh, I got this front mainly done besides getting this window framed. I got to figure out, you know, make me a window or something and get that framed out. And then get my door finished here, uh, frame it out for a door and get the siding on that. And the front be for most part done. And then on the inside here, I've already started on this back side here. And the same way, just got to do a little um, framing for my window and stuff. And, and uh, do some framing over here on this corner over here. I'm gonna put me a door in that corner over there also, and uh, gotta get to do that. Um, I didn't. This was an afterthought, and uh, so it's a good time. Anytime y'all you building something, you know you always you know thinking about things, something down the road or something. So I'm gonna put me a door in case I ever build on to my my blacksmith shop. Uh, I have, and plus I have a entry from that side right there. And the reason why I need an entry from that side, y'all, because my uh, my plans changed. I started thinking about, you no, know, I really don't need all this room in here for right now. You know, uh, I'm just starting out blacksmithing. And so basically, I just need my forge over here, my anvil, my blacksmith vise, and uh, maybe a table or something over here, and uh, room for my gas forge. So I really don't you know, need just a whole lot of room, y'all. So what I'm thinking about doing is on this side here utilize this side right here for a uh, uh another a shop or something over here on this side and um, i figure what i'll do is since it's so low on the ground uh, i'll get me some treated uh floor drawers put in and you know install my tar paper and stuff and uh get my deck and put on it what i decide to use uh, for the floor and use this side right here for a shop you know and then you know it still gave me a plenty of room over here to uh do my blacksmith and stuff like that and like I say if I ever decide to expand down on my blacksmith shop I can go out the back side here or I can go from this side and extend on out so for right now that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do y'all it just utilize this uh, space over here for me another little shop and um, it may eventually make it like a leather shop because it's got plenty of room a lot more room than my uh my leather shop i'm in right now so that would work out good or maybe you know use it for something else you know uh something down the road where i change my mind about something or i want to do something else with it you know uh, never know you know just give me options i guess you can say uh, y'all got an old uh wood cook stove on my back porch been back here probably five six years and uh, you never know i might even put my cook stove over here on this side and utilize this space over here for you know cooking out like a little cook shack or whatever just a thought you know you just give me options but main thing y'all i'm wanting to get this blacksmith uh, side done first of all so i can go ahead and get started on, on that you know because i've been looking forward to doing some blacksmith and stuff for a while so uh, anyway y'all i just uh thought i'd bring y'all along show you how i was going and stuff and uh Kind of excited about getting to use this right here you know i initially started out with this right here just as far as a, like a, uh, a place to store my tractor and um, one of my pickups and stuff but i said you know really i had my tractor off back in the back back here for a while and i said you know what man i could really use this space for something else and i'm glad i decided to go ahead and do that because this uh i'm liking the way it's looking everything looks real good and it's going to be real beneficial for me here and uh gonna give me a place to uh, come out here and do do some blacksmith and learn that you know I don't know if y'all know me uh, but I like doing a lot of different things I've always been that way uh, I guess I'm never content just doing one thing I always like kind of dibble and dabble in a little bit of everything y'all as I, I always been that way but I'm, that makes to me it makes life exciting because you never get bored you know you always learn new things and uh, that's why I like you know trying to learn new things and stuff because you only got one life to live, y'all. So don't 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 waste it. If it's something you want to do, it don't it don't matter if you know how to do it. 
there's plenty of videos online and plenty of people that help you out if you ask questions that help you get started that's like blacksmithing i have no idea about blacksmithing it's just something i'm gonna have to learn you know and with help of you know some books and stuff i got and uh, some videos and stuff watching online i'm gonna i'm gonna give my hand to try that and hopefully you know i enjoy it you know well i'm pretty sure i'll enjoy it. i've already done a little bit of it uh on a railroad uh um, a track a piece of track that uh it was cut and used as an anvil so i've done a little bit on that and uh just heating up metal and stuff in my wood stove inside my house and running out and stuff but the metal will cool down it was way too quick and i go back and back and forth but anyway y'all i just thought i'd bring this uh bring y'all along today and show you what i got done so far and i'm gonna get through this video here i'm gonna get back at it y'all because uh I got plenty of daylight and uh, times are burning. This video has been long enough. So I appreciate y'all coming along. Thank y'all for watching the videos and always friends from my family years. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.